Hi guys, welcome back to nice to watch YouTubers. They're looking at me on the trailer, so it's going to be. On my channel, so to watch YouTubers, talk about the watch YouTubers. They were talking about being on the trailer. Before you do that, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell on this album. So, they were talking about um, I'll be on the trailer as soon as Grace Randolph. So, I have her on. So, um, this is um, um, her Wikipedia page. Um, Grace Randolph is an American reporter, film critic, YouTube, and comic book writer on YouTube. She hosts her channel, Beyond the Trailer. She has she has written numerous comics. Along them, issues of Justice League Unlimited and X Men National X, as well as creating the original comic book series Superbia. And, um, yeah, um, so her YouTube channel is so there's a YouTube channel. Um, so she literally just did like a video two hours ago about the Marvels. It's the Barbie Secret Invasion Oppenheimer, and um. Yeah, so her most viewed video was Alan and then the Chipmunks seeks this week all review and it has thirty eight million and then her oldest video was Mother Gas God too. Um I don't watch her I'm subscribed to her, I don't really watch her videos. Like I pretty much only watch her movie map videos, but uh, even then I really don't really care about I uh, probably asking what what went wrong. Now there was controversies he's done by James Gunn, um um the man the Padre Pascal, the Mandalorian Kathy Ann, but like you, you, you can look them up online. I'm not going to talk about them. So I have a video called Grace Randolph is an idiot. Um, this is by um, Jay Longbone. So let's get into it. So, who wants to watch a wine mom hang herself? There is absolutely nothing to hate about this movie. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. Not the CGI. Not the bobblehead physics. Not the low energy musical performances. Absolutely nothing. You know, if anyone hates on it again, that's a commentary on themselves. Uh, as for race bending Ariel, I continue to stand by my comments that you can't have all these Caribbean musical numbers and a white Ariel. <laughs> I mean, technically, like, Kisty Girl and Under the Sea had some Caribbean uh, elements to the songs, but uh, Ariel was white still, so... Here, they did shoot in Italy, and I wish they hadn't done that, because it's going to give fuel to the haters. Uh, yeah, they filmed in a predominantly white country, and yet have a black mermaid. I mean, naturally, people are going to be like, yes, that doesn't make any sense, but this whole movie, from what I've heard, is like a hodgepodge of bullshit that doesn't make any sense. I mean, the origins go all the way back to ancient Greece. And then there was a Danish story by Hans Christian Andersen. The fucking Little Mermaid has been nothing but white for like hundreds of years. We don't need the current soulless remakes filming location to make our points because the point has already been made. Ah, uh, that really sucks. And maybe they wanted like the fairy tale element to the wide shots of the castle. What? But I mean, it's clearly in a Caribbean setting. It's like, again, as I said, Jack Sparrow could wander into this movie and he would totally fit. Uh, Jack Sparrow ain't Caribbean. <laughs> It doesn't really make sense for white people to be here because it's Caribbean. And then she's like, oh, Jack Sparrow could come in and be completely fit. Which is it, bitch? <laughs> Put down the Chardonnay. But uh, come on, there are steel drums. Loved them. <laughs> what the fuck was that? I mean, that, that, uh, I mean, that sounds like the ultimate death rattle of like nice white lady. Like, yo, what are you talking about? I love black people. Steel drums. Love them. <laughs> <laughs> and while the aristocrats in Eric's kingdom talk with a British accent, Trinidad was a British colony from 19, from 1889 to 1962. You smart. You a genius. But a lot of the people, you know, not the aristocrats, but the regular people of Eric's kingdom, they speak with a Trinidad accent, just like Sebastian does. So it would be ridiculous for a white Ariel to be in this environment. See, this is the problem. This is why when you add more lore and more rules and more this and more add this completely unnecessary shit to an already established IP, then you have to answer questions that you don't have the talent to answer. Because like, okay, okay, English colonies and Trinidad. 
okay nobody in the trailer has a trinidad accent except for maybe sebastian ariel she has an american accent and king triton is a spaniard and we already know what the daughters look like none of this shit makes any sense like i love how people say oh well, well you know it's fish you know who cares you can't ask any questions mermaids but then they try to rationalize the, oh, the universe that they're saying is so outlandish that it can't be rationalized uh, it would be ridiculous for a white Ariel to be in this environment, even though she just fucking said that if oh, Jack Sparrow showed up, he'd fit right in, dummy. And not to mention that Eric is a white person in English occupied Trinidad. You're all over the place, bitch. And truth be told, there are many moments when watching the movie where one has to wonder why Eric is still white instead of black or latino especially when the queen is black good question it's almost like they wanted the interracial angle because they're trying to be ultra ultra super duper inclusive there's kind of a mystery there which they never really solve maybe in a sequel or maybe a novelization where they explain that eric was adopted he washed up from the sea uh and they found him <clears throat> and, and took him in as their own which is just like just why <laughs> Why are they trying to imply that maybe Eric is a lost merman? I'm coming up with my own theories at this point. You know, after I was watching, you know, like I'd say maybe two thirds in, I was like, ah, oh, you know, this is interesting because by keeping Eric white, you're kind of underscoring that a human and a mermaid's romance has similarities to an interracial romance. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, you did not. <laughs> You did not. You did not. Yeah, because being with a black chick is just like being in a relationship with some freak <laughs> of nature. Oh, you dirty bitch. I do think that tracks. I think that tracks. I think that tracks. I think that tracks. Yeah. After a couple of Chardonnays and some Vicodin, that really tracks. <laughs> it's like when they use X-Men as an allegory for racial rights or gay rights. And just like, Ugh. I mean, when you're a kid, you buy it. It makes perfect sense to you. And then you grow up and it's like, well, some of you niggas actually are dangerous, though. I was born with cannon arms and they go off whenever I sneeze. It's like, yeah, you're dangerous. <laughs> These things are all very subtle points. This is not a preachy movie whatsoever. I mean, there are some movies that are preachy in themselves. Like, they are made to preach to you. And then there are some movies that in itself it isn't preachy, but the marketing is preachy, the people behind it, or the aim of the studio is to preach through casting, certain things like that. So yeah, the movie itself, yeah, may not be preachy, but the thought process behind it, very preachy, very cringe. It is there to entertain and sweep you off your feet and it will probably do neither to remind you of the 1989 classic no well you know what that's not fair it will it will remind you to watch that instead of this shit but also bring you that disney magic in its own right <laughs> no so again there is nothing to hate about this movie there is nothing to dislike about this movie nothing 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 i am not saying this just to stick up to disney so i can see their movies early it has nothing to do with it nothing You'd have to work at hating it, but unfortunately, we know that some people will. But it's it's engineered to be a crowd pleaser, and I think it is. No, the original was made to be a crowd pleaser. This is a joyless slog of a mess. You can look, see that just from clips of the film, that it's not going to be that good. I just wanted to record my thoughts on this little clip of Grace Randolph. I was just going to do an edit, but I changed my mind, and it's like, fuck it, I have thoughts. And I do plan on peeping this movie when it comes out. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And I'll be giving my two cents on it, as usual, on Twitter. So follow me on Twitter and maybe subscribe you know donate to the channel those little things thanks for watching guys peace probably asking why she is now now she's still doing stuff on youtube channel uh final thoughts i don't really care about grace randolph to be honest i feel like she's just not right or accurate on like moving math or like movies and stuff and yeah that's pretty much what i have to say about grace randolph so guys i'm gonna try videos for the next one